Cyclopes. And we're actually breaking down th from that Five trend line. At two half. I want to say they paid three even. That can't be. 220 bid, two half. Well, anything that can be. Two half, 280 and a half. Looking for a print. Four is late. 220 bid and a half. Shearing Plow and Merck. Uh, Shearing Plow and Merck to complete merger today. SGP. Um, Let me bring up this side here also. Let me get everything up and running here. All right, and uh, again, watch this 10.34.75 here. Coming up on the 12 o'clock hour. Um, let me see what we got here. Biogen here pushing new highs on the day. BIIB new highs on the day. Cephalon uh, and Gilead here starting to run GILD here and some volume coming in on GILD -G volume coming in on Gilead Gilead Sciences uh, some big blocks starting to cross here 43.50 here coming up 43.50 and we're, tr we're testing this uh, trend line here we're trying to test this to the upside Dow is down 66.66666 number of the beast here now we're off of that. NASDAQ down 12 and the S&P down 5 and some change here. Gilead continuing to push up here on volume. Let me double check that news here on the volume here. Uh, okay. Shearing Cloud, complete merge of Merkin Shearing Cloud. That's about it. Um, but Gilead definitely pushing higher here. And we're breaking through the uh, downward trend line here and pushing back up here. So we should see some uh, some relative strength issues start tagging new highs on the day here. Baidu here pushing new highs on the day. BIDU. Apache approaching back up here towards the highs of the day here. Gilead continuing to run here. Occidental Petroleum, OIH, oil sector here showing strength here. Oxy over $2 up today. Baidu up almost to $4 and breaking through. Baidu running here. Baidu, nice pop here, and the market aggressively popping on that bullish reversal here. Uh, Goldman Sachs breaking out of the uh, that little channel trade, and the overall market's breaking out of a decent channel trade. And uh, going to go one more time at the pit, then I'm going to give this guy a call. See if we hear the volume starting to pick up here. Five even, five thirty. Smith sells ten. At five even. Oh, I'm not hearing anything. Another thing I want to bring you up is. The um, hey Brian, yeah. can you send me the Family Dollar here, uh, CEO of firms target for double digit earnings growth for near term. FDO, Family Dollar, guided at fiscal uh, 10, EPS to 215. Um, let's see what we got here. We got actually some uh, errors there. But FDO looking pretty good here. Okay. 
Okay, got it. See if it actually goes on here. Oh, Gilly, I continue to run here on volume. Nice uh, push here. Okay, so in a few minutes here, about a minute, we're going to have uh, a pivot guy calling up right here. I just gave him the okay here. Again, we're taking the Skype phone call. We'll do this as we uh, do this on the fly here. Again, um, I got turned on to this site the other day. Someone uh, mentioned it to me. And uh, I like it a lot here. Let's see if we got a good, good connection here. Hello there. Hey, John, can you hear me? Oh, yes, excellent. Very, very clear. Hey. Good stuff, good stuff. How you doing? Very good. Thanks for calling the uh, the show here. Um, let me get the pronunciation of your your name. Your armor, armor, armor. <laughs> it's a uh, armor, armor, like yeah. uh, under armor. That that will do. <laughs> under armor, <laughs> yeah, under armor. Well, actually, you're calling from uh, London. From London, yeah. Can you hear my MSN? Should I just turn that off? Uh, say that one more time. Did you just hear my MSN going off like crazy? Oh, no, no. I oh. think we're okay here. Okay. It sounds like a pretty good connection. You have, That's uh, good. That's let me good. disable my alerts so we don't have those in the back. The only thing I have in the background is the crickets, and we're waiting to hear those. Yeah, the <coughs> kind of it's, it's lunchtime, so they're going to be a little bit slow, but hopefully we'll get a few kicking in. Now, um, I'll just jump right into this. I, got your, I don't know who, how I got your site on my, uh, on my radar, but uh, I checked <laughs> it out. It's called Pivot Farm. Dot com Pivot Farm, great name, great little logo you got. Thank uh, you very much. <laughs> and I opened it up, and man, it has a lot of information on it. All cons <laughs> all constructed in a way that's easy to see and easy to read. You could print out. I, what I do is I print these out each morning in front of me. Uh, they have it for the S and P, to, uh, or actually the E mini futures, the uh, Dow futures, and the Nasdaq futures. I print these out. And basically, they give you everything from the pivot points, the moving averages, prior day summaries, highs, lows, um, key news, which I like. You know, it basically breaks down the news, uh, support and resistance levels, and if that's an interesting way you have that written down. Um, yeah. Is there? A I mean, go ahead. So I give you a little intro to the sheet. What? We, oh, the crickets are kicking in. Can you hear them? Yes, I hear the crickets. <laughs> okay, well, the, the sheet is all about confluence, and what I've discovered from my own trading, I mean, this sheet was created from the experiences that I had in my own trading, and uh, I'll give you a little bit of background on the sheet. Um, I was, you know, putting together levels for myself, and what I found was that when pivot points and volume cluster areas and Fibonacci clusters came together, those areas kind of tend to work well as support or resistance. So I was, I was making these sheets, you know, sharing them with a few friends. Um, you know, after a little while, more and more friends started asking for the sheets. And I started a blog. And then after a little while, you know, quite a few people started following the blog. So I thought, why not start a site? So in September, we started the site. And, you know, since then, the response has been, you know, pretty phenomenal. And essentially, how, how the sheet works is, you know, all the information that you see there, like the... Um, the prior day summary, the moving averages, the pivot points, the Fibonacci clusters, the open gaps, all these kind of things, um, they are potential support and resistance in the market. But what I found is the most important support and resistance is you know, price-based resistance, where price has actually gone to you know, when it's supported by volume. So what we've done, that little black strip in the middle, those are the most important price levels in the market. And I've kind of put those pr price levels together and then all the other information is used as confluence for those levels telling you when other participants in the market might come in people using pivots people using Fibonacci people using, using uh, volume uh, extremes and it's it's all of that information put together in one cohesive sheet that's what I've tried to create with this uh, it's lovely I mean it is actually it's, it's perfect I mean if you think about having all the information together instead of having to go to all these different sites you've, you've done a, gr a good job on it uh, a lot of people don't understand the volume extremes 
or you know the important f factors yeah. I think a lot of people would um, there's other names for it we call call things market profile where we look at certain so certain it's market profile based yeah it's, 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 yeah. it's market profile based where you can look back and see the volume spikes at certain pr at certain price levels where you know that yeah. volume buys and sells have been taking place so you know once the price goes back up to that level you can expect uh, levels of support and resistance yeah, and action, good. action at that level, and that's what we want to be. We want to be able to know where the market's going to move, when the market's going to try to move off of a certain level. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, yeah. The uh, so you got all this put together. Do you just yeah. concentrate on the futures, and how do you do this? Oh, I mean, do you do this also for the, the uh, European markets, or you just concentrate? Well, we kind of start. I mean, uh, my own trading is with the ES, okay. and I, I, s I do a little bit of forex as well. Um, we've at the moment we create, uh, you know, the sheets for the S and P, the Dow, the Nasdaq, and we've, uh, around a couple of weeks ago we started making sheets for the forex pairs, which is the Euro USD, the Pound USD, and uh, the Dollar Yen. So th those are actually up on the site as well, and I, I try my very best to make these sheets, you know, as as close to, well, pre, uh, you know, a few hours before the open. In fact, it's probably, you know, the same day as the previous close. So, you know, they're, they're ready and available for anyone that wants to use them. Is there so a, you have yeah. a program that just uh, captures all this information, or do you have to um, do this? <laughs> uh, the painful bit is I kind of handwrite all of this. Yeah. I this, mean is, this is all that. I mean, the only bits that are calculated are the pivot points. Ev almost everything else is based on analysis. So, you know, I, I'm, with the Fibonacci clusters, I'm actually, you know, drawing the Fibonaccis across multiple time frames, doing the comparisons and putting it together, same with the volume experience, and most definitely for the support and resistance levels. Though that, that takes most of my time, making sure I've got the best levels. I mean, even today, um, we've got a level at 103.950, 104.1, caught the high of the day, and it also has caught the, we've also caught the low as well with uh, the 29 to 31 level. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Um, the how do you get the indicators to react to the market uh, activity, or you have the cricket sound and the popcorn? Oh, the cricket. Yeah. Uh, the cricket. It's kind of it's been a long, long process of development. Um, we've uh, a friend of mine called DT. He's he developed uh, the actual cricket indicator, and essentially what he was trying to do was create something that would help him read the tape. And that, that's essentially what it's about. When, when, when uh, he wanted to know when buyers were coming into the market, uh, what size these buyers were, the kind of momentum that's going through, and that's what the crickets are. They kind of tell, let you know when sizable buyers are coming in and when they're coming in with, mom with momentum. There's a few other parameters there as well, but it's, it's been one of the main parts of my trading using support and resistance. So yeah, I mean it's yeah. I've been actually tracking it and playing it on the background, and uh, you know it seems to be working. You know when you see the market actually move up, yeah, of course the yeah. crickets are coming in, and it uh, seems to be real time, um, and right on, right on the mark. I mean at the moment we're we're doing a bit of testing. We're using a chat room. Uh, we're hoping soon to make a, a cricket player, uh, which you can have you know on your desktop or it might be uh, on on the site. But what we'll try to do is create uh, this indicator for lots of different markets. So you know, at the moment, it's just for the US. We're going to have it for forex, for commodities, for uh, you know a whole raft of different markets. Now, will this work overnight on the overnight ES traders? I mean, the crickets come out at night. I mean, <laughs> excuse yeah, me. The, <laughs> <laughs> the crickets do come out at night, and you, you also get a bit of popcorn as well. I'm uh, <laughs> kicking in at night, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it does work at night also, uh, but the best time is session time because that's when you'll see the big volume players actually coming into the market. Yeah. Now, do you trade the ES overnight, or do you um, be an overnight I, one? I kind of work to US time. I mean, I wake up at, over here at 9 o'clock Eastern is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I wake up at ni uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm kind of tuned into uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> and you enjoy uh, trading over there? Oh yeah, I mean the thing is for you guys, you have to get up at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> it's not for me. So you know, I, I like getting up late in the afternoon. And you know, the the internet uh, has created this world where you know global trading is possible, where we can trade U.S. markets from you know sitting in London. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. 
Um, yeah. Let me just see if we have any emails. Uh, like I said, if anybody has any emails on the on, and want to send them in, it's much better yeah. for me looking at the uh, the room going by. So let me just check the emails here. I got your. Uh, I, I love the, love the platform. You use the uh, Hotcom. You using the Hotcom thing there? What is no, that? It's uh, it's Dim Dim. Dim Dim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, this is kind of just a prelim prelim preliminary testing. We just started the uh, uh, the cricket room indicator thing about a week or so ago, and you know the response has been pretty phenomenal. So we're kind of working on developing the actual player for it. You know, which people it'll be the the delay will be almost minimal. At the moment, we've got like a 0.5 second delay because obviously the signal is coming from London. Yeah, well, so that's not that bad at all. Yeah. It's not. It's not too bad at all. But um, w once we once we have the player in, uh, it's going to be a data-based player rather than a sound-based. Like right now, we're speaking on the radio, and the delay kind of tends to be from around one to two seconds. Whereas with a database, uh, with a database player, it will be minimal, hard, hardly even noticeable. So that's kind of the next step we're taking. Okay. Um, to yeah. run you through the site, now I want to just run one more time, review the site one more time. It's at pivotfarm.com. Um, great name. I, I love the logo. You go on to it. It's basically a free site. Are you always going to try to keep it a free site? I mean, you, you have to... Uh, I mean, I started this with, you know, looking at all the traders around me. I mean, I've been very lucky. I've had some great teachers in my time and, uh, you know, been kind of pushed in the right direction with trading. I've had my ups and downs, but I've always, you know, kind of done well with trading. Whereas there's so many people out there that have gone down the whole indicator routes and gone over the top with these kind of things and snake oil salesmen, and it's just, it's just been a difficult marketplace. So what I've tried to do is create this product, a quality product for traders for free. And I'm trying to fund the site and, you know, the data for it, you know, through advertising. It doesn't make much at all, but I ca I'm kind of doing this as something to give back to the community. That's yeah, beautiful. That's perfect. I mean, that's, uh, you know, I kind of started the same way. It ended up, you know, taking on a life of its, uh, life of its own. But, uh, you know, I think this is going to be very successful. I think you'll probably get, uh, you know... I hope so. It'd be nice. You know, I mean, at the moment we have around 2,000 subscribers, and that's within you know a few couple of months. So it's 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 doing well. I mean, there's a lot of interest in in the actual work, so it's it's great. Yeah, the pivot, you know, the little cricket thing. That's a that's a kind of a, <laughs> that's kind of a cool thing. Just to have someone on in the bag. It's like listening to the pit, but you're listening to uh, you know. Yeah. So I mean, with the pit, there's there's a certain amount of interpretation. You have to interpret how these pe you know what what does the roar mean. But with with the actual um, with the, what we've created, it's looking at real buying and selling. What's actually happening happening in the marketplace, and I think in that way it kind of has an edge over over what, you know normal pit noise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Uh, let me just, like I said, there's some people asking about this, this side, how to turn on the crickets, how to, uh, how to, okay. uh, you know, you basically when you tune into your site or when you go to your site, you get an email uh, pop-up thing. So you just um, you sign up for the email. There's no spam involved. You yeah. you sign up. You get sent each morning the updated pivot points and stuff. You yep. hear you yep. hear the popcorn out there. <laughs> I mean, on the actual website, if if any of your listeners want to go to it, it's pivotfarm.com. Um, there's there's a scrolling newsreel thing on the bottom right hand corner which says a uh, tape tweet room. If you click on that, um, just type in a username, hit join, and you'll be able to enter the room. It's totally free of charge, uh, and I think it's you know really valuable service for traders. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Omar, I mean, uh, feel free anytime to any a new. Uh, New additions to your site. Just get in touch with me. We'll get you back on the radio, and you guys. Uh, I mean, I'm working on the, uh, a few other things. Working on a new school as well, um, which which will be really good too. Um, it kind of uh, like a squawk for all the latest news events. Instead of people having to look for for it, you know, on Bloomberg or wherever it might be, uh, we'll read those events out. There's quite a few little things I'm working on. Oh, that's and great. It's going to stay free. So. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad that you called in. I'm so glad that uh, I got to speak to you. I think you're, you know, you have an amazing product here, and mm -hmm. I hope to keep in touch with you. Excellent, buddy. Thanks a lot. Um, um, can I just say hi to my wife and tell her that I love her, and also my friend Timmy, who's listening out there. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Hello, Omar's <laughs> wife and Timmy. What's up? <laughs> they turn a rock star. All right.
Um, yeah, again, I will see you in the markets, and uh, again, keep up a good, good, uh, good job there. Okay, thanks a lot. Take right. care. Take, take care. Bye bye. All right, this is again one more time. That's the uh, pivot point, uh, pivot farm right there. Uh, great guy, nice guy, doing it for free. Um, you gotta appreciate that. Uh, I really appreciate that. Maybe uh, let's see what we got here. Hmm, interesting. I'll put the uh, I'll put the uh, crickets on in the background a little bit when we actually get to listen to them again. Here we'll get the market back up there. Again, pivot po pivot form. I'll get the link on the site also. If I don't have it up there, I'll have Kate put the link up there. We do have a, a banner and stuff from him. But I, you know, like I said, uh, every so often you get a n really nice product out there that kind of consolidates all that information, ma uh, information making trading a little bit easier. I mean, what I take advantage of is just printing these things out in the morning. You know, you get the email, you go there, you print it out on your printer, and it's right there in fr front of you. Uh, you know, that's that's the important thing. Hear a little popcorn pop popping in the background there, and uh, trading out there in London too. So um, there we have it. So again, just a little update: the Dow is uh, continue to hold down is about 60 points here. Nasdaq's down 12. The S&P is down five. And uh, again, yeah, we'll get back to the ES here. Again, the crivets are on the chat room. The chat room is, uh, you have to find it. We'll walk you through it, you know. I'm sure you could uh, figure it out. If you look look uh, look around it a bit here. We did break through that, uh, that trend line. Um, I was actually busy taking that call there. But we did see this nice move coming up. Um, Goldman had that nice break out of the, uh, that channel trade here. Um, to the upside, not a big move, but uh, again, you have to try to remember to grab some stocks near the uh, support lines and look for the moves that are starting to play, starting to show up here, especially on any type of uh, trend here. Starting to develop no, 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 upside trend line here. I don't want to get too many lines in here. I'm going to get rid of this blue line, and uh, we'll see if we can hold here. I am hungry today. I am very hungry. And just to let you know, if you guys uh, know other sites out there that might be uh, of interest to some of the users out there, definitely get, get give me the information. I'll get in touch with them, and uh, we'll get them on the air. Anything that uh, you know is a positive influence on your trading. Let me. Uh, I did record this, so I'm going to stop